Hey, welcome to exercise two in my lumbar spine 12 week program inside weeks three and four. This is the leg float. I'm gonna show you what to do lying down. So in this position, this is really, really good exercise to improve your anterior tilt issues that you've got going on with the lumbar spine. So what I mean is this is helping you control this movement here. So that stability mechanism to try and keep your core stable, the ability to keep stable, say in a plank or in sport, this ability here to stop it moving around from anterior tilt, posterior tilt, this exercise is gonna improve your anterior core stabilization, activation, and then precursor into a strength exercise. So, it's called a leg float. First thing you gotta do is you have gotta make sure that core is on. So, whatever cue you need, have a look at our other program, our other exercises about cueing for the core, but holding a wee or something like that that is going to switch this on, keep this toned without you doming up. I don't want this movement, okay, no, it's not a sit up. I want a flat tummy here, not a hollow tummy. So flat, tight through here and still breathe. So on here, no breath holding. On here, no breath holding. What are you going to try and do? There should be a little gap underneath your lower back. Tiny little gap here and a flat tummy here. You're gonna see if you can keep that position, keep this on, keep talking, and I'm gonna raise and float one knee up, just to there. Then what I'm gonna try and do is let that float down slowly without the back moving, okay? So if you're doing it wrong, what tends to happen is if you float your leg up, you arch your back, okay? We don't want that happening. So you're gonna float your leg up, try and control it, it's not too high level, that's why it's in week three, four, it's pretty easy. But what you're trying to learn is, can I keep my core, my pelvic, my lumbopelvic region stable and move at the hips? So we call it hip dissociation. We're trying to keep this stable and move here. So I'm moving at one joint, like this, not moving at two joints or multiple joints, all right? And that's the key of getting that lumbopelvic stability right for the first time. So up with one, float it, slow it down, and then you're gonna cross over to the next. Now when you cross over, you can't let your pelvis shift and move. So you've really got to almost pre-tighten, lift, down, and when it comes down, don't lose this control. Keep this on, transfer from one leg to the other, keep the spine stable, Feel here, make sure it doesn't move. Float it up, keep it down, keep that on. Don't let the back arch. Now, these are boring exercises, right? This is the stuff everyone hates, but trust me, at this level, weeks three and four, when someone's just getting out of pain, this is the perfect time to lie down, let the back relax, try and work on that anterior core and get your stability. Because trust me, once you get this working well, it acts as a pain reliever and it's building that foundation to then layer up all your abdominals and your back muscles and your glutes and everything else on top of that so you get more core strength to be able to lift. So this is your starting point. It's a week three and four. Get stuck in. We'll see you next week.